Greetings and welcome to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. So, a couple of weeks ago, I got a question from Ali Army 107 uh, and he asks Can you make a tutorial of how to make an engine scalability settings widget on Unreal Engine 4? Um, and yeah, well at least I'm gonna point you in the right direction. So, the first thing to know, and this is important, uh, go into your browser and then go to unrealengine.com then go to learn and documentation This is where you will find everything you need when it comes to scalability. So you simply search for scalability and the first hit is scalability reference. So oops. Here you will have all you need when it comes to scalability settings. Uh, all of these. You can use all of these inside of blueprints. Um, when you can execute console commands. Console? Console commands? Yeah, something like that. Uh, so. I urge you to just use this page a lot, okay? But I'm gonna show you just easily how to pick a couple of these and use them inside of the engine. So I've simply opened a third person template. Uh, and if we go to settings, we can see that in engine scalability settings, uh, they're all set to cinematic. Uh, and we will, uh, you know, you can go here and double check that the changes you made has actually taken place. Okay, so I've picked a couple of um, things to change. I'm just going to do it quickly and easily. So we're going to go to Blueprints, Open Level Blueprints. And as soon as the game starts, we want to have define what kind of settings we want. So I'm just going to right click and then take uh, events begin play then drag this out and take execute console command and in here I'm gonna change the resolution scale and again you will find all of these here. So uh, the difference is if you use this then it will change all of these uh, but you can also use each one of these and define them exactly as you want uh, but I'm gonna use now first uh, the resolution resolution scale so R dot screen percentage and then we have like low, medium, and high, and you can choose any number between 10 and 100. So let's say we set it to the lowest, which is 10. Now, this is what it looks like as of, oh, it already changed. <laughs> that wasn't fun. That was no fun at all. Oh, yeah, I know why. No, yeah, it's because I started the game that's simply why so yeah that's what happened so this is the lowest resolution horrible but doable so now we can go to settings if we're not sure if it's actually is happening and go to scalability settings and oddly enough it didn't change it did change last time I checked <laughs> well that's how it is um, let's change another one. So now we could test like 50, for example, medium, play, and this is like Nintendo 64 bit, <laughs> Nintendo 64 bit, Nintendo 64, 
uh, feel. A little bit smudged out, but smooth, you know, it's good. And then if we take it back to 100, compile, then it's super crisp. Okay, so let's connect another one. Execute console command. Then we can try effects quality. So I'm going to write SG effects quality. And here it must be between 0 and 3. And by the way, I know why that uh, why it didn't change in here that's because these are for the entire I don't know what it's called but if we look like it's for this post process quality right so if I change just the blur G buffer it won't change inside here but now that I'm gonna change effects quality we might see something here. I can't promise anything, but I do think so. Um, so I'm going to set this to first three, which is high, compile. So we will find in the content browser simply something per uh, some particle particles. So I'm going to do use the P sparks that should make it easy to see any change in the effects quality like this is the best and there's a lot of spraying going on now if we go in here and we set the effects quality to zero and compile let's see now you know there's like I don't know, 500 particles less. <laughs> did it change in here? Yes, it did. Because this is, um, yeah, the SG and not the R, you know? SG for the entire category and R for one specific, whatever this is called. So if I set it up to, let's say, two then there's more of them yeah okay and the last one we're gonna try is shadow quality <clears throat> so I'm gonna use SG shadow shadow quality quality also between zero and three so if we take three this is the shadow very nice however if we take zero we turn it off entirely so it seems like the regular you know static shadows is still there because they're baked into the game or something while the dynamic shadows will change Okay, so simply by using this event begin play inside of the level bl blueprint, you will be able to, you know, set uh, this for the game when you start the game. Yeah, but if you want it inside of a widget, like in a main menu, something like that, Then I'll just quickly show you how that can be done. You know, if you have any um, experience with menus at all and widgets, you already know how to do this. But I'll do it anyway. So just inside of the contents folder here, I'm going to right click and create a user interface, widget blueprint, scalability. Ability. widgets save it open it so in here let's drag in I'm just gonna use one of these create a text block I'm gonna call this choose 
Uh, choose resolution. Like that. Make it a little bit bigger. Like so. And then I'm going to drag in a button and another button and another button and they're gonna be aligned so nicely and some text click the first text and we will name it low next text block will be medium And the last one will be high. And I'll just quickly give these some color by clicking the button and not the text, if you wondered. And high, red. OK. Now go into the graph, remove these. Here you got the buttons so click the first button scroll down here and click on clicked now I'm just gonna go find one of these yeah so I'm gonna remove those and I'm gonna use the screen percentage control X to cut it out and then control V to paste it in inside of the widget connect this so the first one is low So I'm going to set that to 10. Then click the next button on clicked. Copy this, control C, control V. Connect and this will be medium, so I'm going to use 50. And then the last button on clicked. Control C, control V. that will be 100 okay so compile and save but now <clears throat> we will let's see I'm a little bit disturbed uh, 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 uh. yeah I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm just in here, in the level blueprints. Drag this out and take create widget. Select, what did I call it? Scalability widget. Widget. And then drag this out and take add to viewport. Connect these. And here you will take show mouse or perhaps get mouse. There's something about a mouse. Okay, right click, take get player controller first. Now drag this out, remove the context sensitive just in case. Set mouse, no. Set show mouse cursor. Here we go. Because we want to show the mouse cursor on the menu. So just check that. Compile. Then after this, I think we will need to remove from parent. So we can just connect all of these to remove from parents, to remove the menu, you know. This is not the, a perfect way to create a menu at all. I'm just doing it to get the buttons up on the screen. If you want to know how to learn how to create a main menu, then watch my main menu tutorial instead. And then just add these options to that menu and you will be good. So let's see, I'm just gonna save and now we can play. So. Here we go. If I press low, we got really bad graphics. 
or low resolution. Okay, try again. Medium. Nintendo 64 graphics, right? And then try again. High and perfect graphics. So that's how simple it is to create engine scalability settings. So just remember to refer to this page, scalability reference page. And yeah, have fun with it. So take care and have a great day.